So this is the mass support chain S. Uh, basically, I'll start the class as I start in the previous class, logic one. Basically, I'll try to list the, all the things that we are going to cover during the course. And I'm going to kind of give a comment on every section. And yeah, then we'll start our class. So the first thing, uh, usually I start with algebra, like basic algebra, how to work with equations, inequalities, and so on and so forth. So the first thing that we are going to cover is the algebra. Okay, this is kind of a major topic. And then you have like subtopics. Example, usually it's equations, inequalities, understanding the set of solution, and maybe graphing some first degree, second degree equations. Like if it's first degree equation, we are going to graph linear algebra, linear equation. And if it's the second degree, we are going to graph the parabola, which is quadratic equation. So usually in chat uh, like in the syllabus, it was mentioning only first and second degree equations. So we are going to focus only on linear equation and on quadratic equation. So it's good news for you that you don't have to do the cubic equation, which is kind of a more harder than previous two. All right, uh, then the next, we are going to study after the algebra, there is a, so let me write exponentials. And logarithms. So usually, uh, like previously from Tolkai Tolkien tests, uh, exponentials and logarithms problems are not hard. Basically, it's just continuing of the equations. Usually you're given the exponential equation or exponential, I don't know, inequality, right? Or you could you could be given logarithmic equation or logarithmic inequality, and you have to solve. You're gonna solve them by using some like properties of exponentials and pro properties of logarithms. So first of all, we're going to study uh, rules, properties of exponentials, and the same for logarithms. And we try to apply these rules in order to solve equations and inequalities. And maybe you could have also problems where you have to graph, like how to graph logarithmic functions, how to graph exponential functions, but they are basic. They're not going to be hard. All right, the next point is basically we've studied algebra exponentials. So it's gonna be the numbers. Basically, the basic idea of numbers, like what's the integer, what's the natural number, what's the rational, what's the irrational numbers, and so on and so forth. And basically, you'll have to be able to compute quickly. For example, if you're given something like this, let's say 2 multiplied by square root of 15, you have to kind of, uh, you know, at least approximate to the normal norm number, this, like, this kind of number, multiplication. So we'll try to learn how to compute these kind of things fastly and try to solve the problems. Also, in the numbers, we are going to study percents. Basically, what's the percent of a number? And maybe there could be the ratio and proportional problems. So that was the island of numbers. The next thing that we are going to study uh, is geometry. Okay, I guess so far geometry is a really broad, let's say, topic. There are a lot of things to study in geometry, but they specify the things that they are going to ask. So usually we are going to see the shapes of, uh, let's say, most frequent shapes like triangles, like squares, maybe rectangles, circle, and so on and so forth. And basically, you have to figure out uh, how to compute area, volume, perimeter of these basic figures. Okay, of course, volume, this is for third dimensional figures like cylinder, cube, uh, prism, cone, 
and so on and so forth. Okay, like usually most of the most of the geometry is let's say if you really understand how to work with triangles, like you are done most of the geometry because all like of course not all but many geometric problems require you to let's say know how to work with triangles. So triangles are really crucial in geometry. So let me write triangles. So we're going to study the types of triangles. Usually like the most important one is the right one, right? Triangle. Where you have the 90 degree angle and then you're going to study Pythagorean theorem. And yeah, because usually if you have the problem like the square, right? You know, half of the square is a triangle, right? And using the triangle, you could figure out the problem on square or I don't know, you could have a rectangle or any other figures. If you want to simplify the problem, you will separate the problem, you will make a triangle and you could easily solve the problem. So the triangles are important. And also in the geometry, we'll study the equation of the circle. Uh, basically, we'll be given xy plane or coordinate plane. And in this coordinate plane, you have to graph the circle. So based on its equation. All right, uh, the next part is functions. So let me write that was the this one. Usually, you have to know what's the concept of functions, like what is the function, why you need the function, then um, you're going to graph the basic functions. Whether it's quadratic, linear, I don't know, um, exponential function, logarithmic function, like root function, irrational function, and so on and so forth. Uh, there could be the problems also on, let's say, original functions. Usually it's f of x. And then based on original function, for example, your f of x is equal to some value, let's say a. Of course, a could be like big uh, expression like x squared plus 2x and so on and so forth, right? And you will be given the problem like compute. Of course, with correspondence to the f of x, you have to compute what's the f of x plus, I don't know, y, where y is just a number. So we're gonna study it. All right. And then the six is the statistics. So in the statistics part, um, usually it's not advanced statistics, it's like basic statistics that you supposed to study in the school like i don't know most probably already did statistic course in the school and usually it's like normal problems uh that requires you that you understand the graph uh, table histogram functions like for example let's imagine there is a histogram like this and then like this and like this and basically the whole statistic is about how you understand those graphs so could you extract some information from these graphs right uh, another thing, you could be given the problems like how to compute the mean. Mean is the same as like what's the average. Uh, medium, like mode. And also there could be the problems where you have to figure out what's the frequency of some graph. Usually it's like frequency distribution. For example, let's imagine that you have some school, right? And in the school, there are like X number of students and you're given the grades of these students and you have to figure out what's the average GPA of the school, right? This is like possible question that could come on your statistics part. And the last part is the, I guess the last part is might sound hard. Uh, it is actually a little bit challenging with respect to the other six parts. It is uh, probability combinatorics. Okay, um, like they they didn't separate it as a two separate um, sections. Like in the syllabus, they just wrote like one section is the probability and combinatorics. So in the probability, what you have to do basically is like normal understanding, what's the probability? Usually the probability is the fraction of the favorable outcomes over total number of outcomes. Like what's the probability if you toss a coin and you'll have like head, 
right? It's one over two. And of course, it's not that simple, but you'll have to study some theories in probability. Uh, usually they're respected, um, let's say they are related to the sets. Sets where you have to know what's the union and what's the intersection. All right, then you'll have to figure out what's the probability of the, I don't know, of the independent event and what's the probability of dependent event. And you have to see the difference, what's the dependent and what's the independent event. But we are going to study it, so no worries. In combinatorics is basically divided into displacement problems. to permutation problems and to combination problems. So the most important thing in combinatorics is to see the difference between displacement, permutation, and combination. Once you know if the problem requires you to compute permutation, basically you're given the formula of permutation and just plug it and you compute the value. If the problem requires you to know what's the combination, you just plug the formula of combination and you compute the value. Uh, sometimes the problems could be a little bit trickier uh, where they will kind of require you a little bit logic, you know? You have to, like, they will require your problem solving skills. It's not just that you have to plug the formula and compute, but you have to think about it, like how you should compute it. So, and that was the map of the things that we are going to study like during the eight classes on mass. By the way, today we are going to study this part. Uh, no, not entirely this part, but yeah, let me just write it here. Uh, I want to ask, uh, is there, uh, is there uh, differentiation integration or no? No, there is no, because um, like this is not advanced mass. Usually like in the tests like SAT, I don't know, like entrance tests do not require the integrals or how to compute. I don't know, limits and so on. And in statistics, is there uh, distrib distribute random variables? It's more of a basic statistics, right? Uh, maybe they will, I mean, there is some problems on like what's the nominal ordinal graphs, but no, you don't have to do it. Okay, thanks.